In the Hague with Gorda, I was Walter and Glorisha. Hi, and welcome to this video. Today we will be visiting the stone fort or the Ra of Nocdrum or Nocdroma in West Cork. Before we go ahead with the video, I would like to invite you to visit these social media sites on Facebook. You have the Order of Celtic Wolves run by Filter and uh, Druid. Uh, which uh, specialises in Celtic and pre-Celtic lore of uh, the two isles. And also, if you could visit Stonehern at all, Pride of the Emerald Island of Eru, and also the other site printed here as well. Now, these sites are run by Louise, Michaela, Chantal, Patricia, Chris and JT, who are quite knowledgeable in areas of Ireland in both folklore, mythology and so on. I'll give them a shout. Also, if you could uh, support this channel, if you like this video, could you like, subscribe, comment or share and if you wish, if you could donate uh, by clicking on the above link or if you could go to the buy me a coffee link on the about page. All donations are gratefully appreciated. Gromil Margot. Now, basically, um, every lunacy weekend uh, I stay in Clonakilty because I always go to Drombeg uh, down in the morning uh, for my own um, Desnac uh, Persanta uh, for Lunasa. Now, uh, this morning was the morning beforehand and I decided to get up early and head out and have, do a bit of sightseeing. So, basically, I just thought, right, you know what? I'll go to uh, Nocdroma. So, um, basically, when you're driving out, you head from... Clonakilty to uh, Skipperin, and when you pass the village of Lep, then you'll see a turn off for the Wild Atlantic Way, and that'll take you down to Castle Townshend. And as you just go on, you go through a village, and then you'll see the signpost for uh, Nocdrum uh, Ringfort. Uh, Nocdroma is the, the Irish uh, basically hill of the ridge, and believe me, it's a ridge and a half. Now basically, uh, it's a, there's no real parking there, you have to park the side of the road. Um, there's a kind of an entrance which is kind of more of a, a grassy pathway, which you'll see in the video here that I'm walking up along. Now, uh, as you go through that, then you can actually see uh, the Three Fingers, or the Grand's uh, Stone Row, uh, which is uh, the field across the way. Um, basically, it's quite just literally across the way, over the field, through a load of gorse, and uh, then you get to go to it. Now that's in another video because I did go there as well. Now as you come to the end then you will come to as you see in the video here you come to the actual uh, it's a it was built in the 1960s by a stonemason from Shirkin Island uh, which is quite nearby and it's absolutely beautiful stair, stone staircase that'll take you right up the ridge uh, straight up to uh, the stone fort itself. Then once you come up then uh, apart from the beautiful sunrise that I got completely by accident, hadn't planned on that, but for the Lunasa weekend, this was very appropriate, so um, I just had to watch it for a while. Now, as you can see, uh, Stone Ring Fort there, it was um, excavated in the 1860s, and it was uh, rebuilt by the... Uh, rebuilt as well. Now, as you can see, the walls are three meters wide and they're about roughly two meters high uh, from the outside. Now you access the fort uh, through a narrow entrance and as you can see there's a, a, a capstone with a Neolithic cup marks on the top of it. You go in and then you see the kind of a small guard house on your right as you go in and then you go into the actual fort itself and you'll see the remains of a uh, kind of a stone building and also uh, there's actually in the southwest corner uh, there's a sutron, which is uh, was built probably a bit later. Uh, this would be kind of a more of a food store, grain store uh, type. Now, at the moment, it's um, guard. You have uh, rails there, and there's a rail going over the top entrance as well. Well, that was kind of something that kind of felt in because it's cut out of the stone. And uh, obviously, they're going to be there because you're always going to get some idiot that will actually try and get in there. We'll get stuck, and unfortunately, you're more likely you will die there because it is quite a remote area. Now, uh, with this as well, um, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, there's a, a stone there in the corner, 
uh, with a cross on it and the other side as well I'll describe it in the video as well the upcoming video now uh, so uh, enjoy the video and uh, we'll speak again Gramila Magwith and Slogan of All Now, this stone underneath me here by the entrance that was put here. These are prehistoric uh, cup marks, as you can see here on the actual stone itself, which go back to possibly dating back to the Bronze Age. Could be further, I'm not 100% sure. But as you can see, <laughs> didn't expect yet this this morning, so I'm always thankful for them. So it's absolutely beautiful out here on the Atlantic coast itself here in Rackdrum, or sorry, Knockdrum, uh, Stone Fort, which is about 2,000 years old roughly. So it would be made late Iron Age. It's a fortified uh, farmstead. As you see, the walls are quite thick. They're as thick as the ones out in Crow Darg, in Shrone, at the base of Paps Venu. So this would be a better example, although the one at the Paps Venu is, at the foot of Paps Venu is kind of more reverential. And there's an erected stone here with a cross on it. Right, I don't see any ohm on it, so can't be any. And someone's actually after inscribing a cross here over time. That's been worn in itself. And people have been etching this old cross into the stone itself. Now it's made with local sandstone, the same as the three fingers uh, on the hill across the way. 
you can see in here and we'll go into the farmstead now this was um, recreated in the 1960s and it was excavated in the 1930s and goes right over there so he really not more than that And this is more ancient capstone. So whether this is a tomb, I'm not too sure, but it looks like an old wedge tomb from what I'm guessing. And of course everyone's ringing me out. I contact me on my phone as per usual. I should put it on silent. So we go along the side of the wall. Anyway. 